For Dark Matter News, I'm Leo Ashcraft. A jail inmate in Arizona is hospitalized after authorities say he pulled one of his eyeballs out of his socket. Officials say detention officers making routine checks Thursday night saw blood on the window of Corkill's cell door and found that he had pulled his right eyeball out of his socket with his fingers. Doctors were unable to save the man's eye. A Texas businessman used an app to find his iPhone in a rural pasture after it fell about 9,300 feet during a flight from Houston. Wilson says he and a pilot were traveling home Monday in a Beechcraft Bonanza when a pressure change caused the passenger door to open slightly. Wilson didn't realize his cell phone fell out until after landing. He and an employee used an app to narrow the search down to near Jacksboro, more than 50 miles away. The pair set out on their search Tuesday and ended up in a rural pasture. They found the cell phone under a mesquite tree. And believe it or not, the cell phone still works. That's one heck of a cell phone. This is Dark Matter News. Our major cities have become war zones, ravaged by food riots, arson, and terrorism. Our rates of unemployment and homelessness have never been worse in this the second great depression you just heard a clip from the action suspense movie thriller alongside night the movie stars kevin sorbo tv's hercules and star of the hit movie god's not dead freedom's not dead either in a collapsing near future america brilliant high school senior elliot vreeland searches for his famous missing father and family putting him between an out of control federal government and a revolutionary anarchist underground dr ron paul recommends this movie saying i believe alongside night will advance the cause of liberty be among the first to order the alongside night deluxe three disc blue Ray DVD combo pack stuffed with hours of extra features. To order this eye-opening movie thriller for only $16.95, including shipping and handling, call 800-527-2375 or online at buymovie.today. Once again, 800-527-2375 or online at buymovie.today. The National Air and Space Museum is launching a crowdfunding campaign to conserve the spacesuit Neil Armstrong wore to the moon. The campaign began earlier this month, marking 46 years since Armstrong's moonwalk in 1969. Conservators say spacesuits were built for short-term use with materials that break down over time. The museum aims to raise $500,000 on Kickstarter to conserve the spacesuit, but build a climate-controlled display case and digitize the spacesuit with 3D scanning. The Smithsonian formed a partnership with Kickstarter for a series of crowdfunded projects. The spacesuit is the first. Armstrong's spacesuit is deteriorating and hasn't been on display since 2006. The museum plans to display it for the 50th anniversary of Armstrong's moonwalk. Later, the suit will be the centerpiece in Destination Moon, a gallery opening in 2020. The Kickstarter campaign has already reached its goal, raising $582,000 of their $500,000 goal from 7,591 backers with 18 days left to go. NASA has been forced to address the latest doomsday prediction by an impending 2.5-mile comet strike in the month of September 2015. The claim was initially made by the self-proclaimed prophet named Reverend Efrain Rodriguez. He said that a very large asteroid or a comet will hit Earth either on September 15th, 22nd, or 28th, or any other day in between. He also claimed that the location of the comet strike will be around the region close to Puerto Rico. The impact will set in motion a series of events taking place simultaneously in various parts of the world, like triggering earthquakes, causing a tsunami, and volcanic eruptions. The final prediction is that the experiments being conducted at the Large Hadron Collider will go beyond our control. This will cause the eventual destruction of Earth and wipe out humanity from the face of our planet. He further confirmed that the entire U.S. East Coast, Latin American nations, Mexico, and some countries in South America will be completely destroyed. He advised NASA to issue a warning about the comet strike so that people presently living in the areas that will be affected can be relocated to safer places. Other accounts of such apocalyptic theories are being shared online and are gaining a lot of traction with many people agreeing that the event would bring about a climatic catastrophe. Some people have claimed that the actual doomsday will be caused due to CERN's Large Hadron Collider. They say that the logo of the CERN is the number 666, which is the sign of the devil. Others say that this is the sign of the beast in the circle. They go on to claim that the CERN Collider looks like Stargate, or the all-seeing eye that they find in many places around the world. For now, NASA has addressed and contradicted their prediction of apocalypse by an impending comet strike in the month of September 2015. Let's hope they're right. For Dark Matter News, I'm Leo Ashcraft.